Hello YouTube and Lego fans and welcome to another Lego Movie set review. So this is set 70802 and this is the Bad Cops Pursuit. You can see this is ages 7 to 14 and this comes with a piece count of 314 and this currently retails in the UK for £24.99. That's from the Lego store or the Lego store online. Okay guys, so there you can see the front of the box. So let's quickly have a look at the rear of the box now. Okay, there we go. There's the rear shot of the box. And obviously you can see the scene at the top and down at the uh, bottom of the box are some of the features to this set, which we will take a look at when we get closer to the set. Okay, so this comes with one instruction manual, which we can see here, just a medium size instruction manual. Okay guys, right let's take a closer look at the set. Right so there's our first shot of the Bad Cops Pursuit set from the Lego Movie. Okay guys, first thing we're going to do is take a 360 tour of the complete set. Okay so let's start to spin round. We can see the front shot of the bad cops vehicle and back round to where we started okay guys so first off let's take a look at the minifigures <coughs> okay so here's our first minifigure so this is the bad cop you can see he comes with one of the new style blasters, so this is one that actually shoots the piece at the end and how we do that is simply by pressing down on this piece here and I'll do that now and you'll see the red stud far at the end, so let's do that now. And there we go, and that does shoot out at some rate. So let's just remove that blaster so we can take a closer look at the bad cop. Okay, so there's no leg printing, we can see the front torso print in there. And over to the rear, obviously it comes with this cool Cops motorcycle helmet. I'm just going to remove that. You can see that face printing. And it does come with a two-sided face, so that's the other side. Obviously two very different looking faces. Okay, there we go. So that is our bad cop. Is that cool? Okay, next up we have Emmett. Uh, it's going to be a quick review of Emmett because he comes in obviously a number of sets. So we can see there that leg printing with his ID, front torso printing over to his face, and that hair piece. Again, he has the piece of resistance on the back. And that is just clipped on by this piece here. Okay, let's just remove that hair piece. You can see there the other side to his face. Okay. Okay, guys, so that is Emmett. Okay, so next up we have the Robo Crocodile, and there are two of these, both identical, and these have poseable sections on them. So first of all, the tail section here, as we can see there, um, and then obviously the jaw, open and closed like so, um, and on the backs of both of them, you have these police lights. You see the red and the blue. Uh, A good looking crocodile, like I said, there are two of these, both identical. Okay, guys, so there is the other one, as we can see, they're both absolutely identical. So, that is our Robo Crocodiles. Okay, so the next bit I want to show you is the collapsing bridge. So, just spin that round so you can see that. 
essentially a railway track or supposed to be a rail dry track on the top so if we just have a look down the bottom first from the detailing so we obviously have some rocks down there and inside there is a frog you can see him there obviously some more detailing there and that's the top piece so that's obviously what represents the um, a railway track or the tracks on top so this does have a feature on it um, you may be able to see under there there is a some Lego Technic pieces so this red piece here we simply pull that out so Ethan if you demonstrate that for me cool and you can see the end bit collapses so that's for when someone's standing on the end or in this case Emmett um, and that gets pulled away and obviously the railway collapses and he obviously falls um, Ethan, if you want to push that back in, show the track going back up. So just push it, that's it. There we go, so push it back in and it just locks into place. So that's our railway bridge. Okay, so next up, or finally rather, we have our flying police car. Um, and I must say, I am extremely impressed with this uh, flying police car, actually. I think it really does look the part. Absolutely awesome looking. Um, so this has uh, almost instantly made me a bit of a fan of these Lego movie sets now. Um, well, there we go, so we can see the rear shop there. That rear exhaust engine detail. You can see there's a spoiler at the rear there. Um, we can see some more um, light detailing at the back, obviously on the top there. Some police lights. Um, that's sticker detail on the top. Okay, so down at the front here, again, there is another sticker there. Um, this piece can move up, or does move up rather, slightly. Um, and underneath there, again, we can see some more light details. And if you wanted to, these can spin round, like so. Put those back, and push that back down. Um, and again, some more detailing on the underside there. Again, more lights along the front. And obviously round to the side so at the side of these um, these side pieces come up to expose two things one these side lights um, but also you have these laser cannons here which are pretty cool so the way these work they flip out like that and then like that so you can see there the laser cannons now pointing out to the side and exactly the same on that side the side lights there and then obviously those same laser cannons and that same function there where it flips out so now we can obviously see how that looks there with those laser cannons okay and that can be pushed back down like that if we wish to so i'm just going to pop those back in they do tuck away nicely and obviously size down and again obviously stick a detail there on the side do the same again on the other side there and you can see that there that stick a detail super secret police okay so obviously the thing that's missing now is the actual cockpit or driver's area um, so this is on quite a good mechanism actually these normally lift off this on hinge mechanism so just simply opens and closes like so um, and we can see in there you have your steering wheel um, and obviously the space there for our bad cop to sit and fly or drive his police car okay guys next up I just want to show you with the bad cop inside so again lift the roof up obviously here's our bad cop so you put him in his seat in position and remove his blaster we'll show where that goes in a second or where it can go um, and then I simply put him down there into his seating area. So hopefully we can see the bad cop in there now. There you go. Just pick him up there for the windscreen, and the blaster can just simply be tucked down the side there. And you can see his blaster there, and that closes up quite nicely there. So there we can see now. We see in that view the bad cop inside and obviously flying his police vehicle. 
Okay, so next part I just want to show you is that collapsible railway bridge. Because there we can see now Emmett obviously standing um, on the end, obviously um, looking out. He's probably looking down at that bad cop, but oh no, there are some crocodiles lurking below him. So, Ethan, you just want to show everyone what happens and how that works. So, he's just going to now pull that mechanism, and oh no, Emmett falls down to his demise. Well, let's hope it's not down to his demise, but those crocodiles are there now. Okay guys, so that's that working. So next thing I'm going to do is just get my little boy to set up a scene which he set up earlier, which I thought was uh, pretty cool. Okay guys, there we go. So there we can obviously see now Emmett hanging on for dear life at the end of that railway track and the crocodile jumping up, um, snapping away at him and the other one lurking below waiting. And obviously the bad cop there is jumping out of his vehicle as well. So there we go guys, that's uh, my review of this set complete so again just to recap this is set 70802 um, from the Lego movie so this is the bad cops pursuit okay guys hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please do go ahead and give it that thumbs up um, leave any comments feedbacks questions down in the comment section if you haven't done so already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel um, so thank you from me and also thank you Ethan for your help Hello. On this set, Bye. Uh, there he is. Oh, on. didn't see you then. Come back quickly. Hello. Yeah. Bye. Say bye. Good boy. Okay, guys. Thanks very much, uh, and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.